G'day everybody, what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to uh, do a sky replacement uh, using Adobe Photoshop and we'll adjust some colour as well. So we're going to take this photograph here, we're going to take the sky up by using layer masks and replace it with some stars and we're going to match the colour of the stars to the original photograph so that it looks a bit more realistic to create this surreal type looking photograph here. Now we're going to um, upload this to a website as well, so if I go back uh, we're going to use this same template here and we'll get the width and height dimensions from this section here which we'll, we will create a new document based upon in Photoshop. So if we go into Photoshop, let's go to create new, um, let's choose the web preset and based on those let's go about 1800 by I think it was 700 around, we'll round it up and click create. Um, actually what you can do um, if you like to take off artboards, I do find it is a little bit easier when you do untick artboards, um, so click create and we've got our uh, canvas there. Now let's go to file and let's go to place embedded and we will find our photo, um, there it is there. And let's place that in our document and resize it and adjust it as you see fit. There's nice, press return and set that. Now the next thing we'll do is we want to get our photograph or our image of our stars, okay? So what I did, I just went over to uh, Pexels, I just typed in space and I downloaded this photograph here. Uh, you could do the same thing or you could choose another different background uh, if you like. Um, so let's place that in there as well. Let's go to place embedded and let's find our stars. There they are, let's place that. And let's just again stretch this out so that it covers the width of our and height of our canvas. Press return or enter when you're done. And let's just move the layer order so that this uh, stars is, the stars are underneath. All right, now select the top layer and there's an icon here which looks like the Japanese flag and it's the uh, layer mask option. So if we click our layer mask, you can see we've got um, this uh, white rectangle has appeared beside our photograph. So make sure that layer mask is selected and let's just grab the brush tool okay and what we'll do is we'll make sure our brushes are activated here so if they're not just go to um, window and brushes and they'll pop up here. Now in our folders if we just open general brushes we want to use a soft round brush for this okay and let's close that and um, over here we we're, because we're going to work on the layer mask it only recognizes white and black paint okay if your colors are showing something different for example not white and black just click the little icon here and it will turn it black to white and black now if i select black paint all right black paint and i paint over the top it's going to hide this section of the um, the section that I'm painting on in the in the photograph. Okay, it's not rubbing it out; it's just hiding it. And you can see that on the layer mask that it's black. If I swap back to white paint and I make a mistake, uh, white paint will reveal. Okay, so I can paint all those sections back in. All right. So what we'll do is we're just going to with our brush just paint. Um, take out a lot of that sky. Now, if you use the right and left arrow keys on your keyboard and hold them, they will um, change the size of your brush, okay? So as we get closer to the waves, we will kind of make our brush a little bit smaller so we can get a little bit of fine detail there. Now as you get closer to the edges, you may think about lowering the opacity of the brush to maybe 50% or so, so that when you start to paint near the edge of the waves, um, the effect is not as dramatic. Okay, you can zoom in and you can zoom out and you can get some really fine detail in there if you want to. I'm not going to. Okay, so um, that will do us for now. Let's add a few color adjustment layers to enhance this a little bit. So the first one we will do is a hue and saturation. Okay, so if we go into our, our half circle, let's go and, and click that and find hue and saturation, the adjustment layer. Okay, now you'll notice um, this is gonna change the color of um, 
the sky and the background. Now, with the layer mask, we only want to affect the bottom layer, the, the layer that's directly below it, sorry, which is the beach. Um, so to do that, if we press the clipping button here, yeah, all right, and you'll notice an arrow pops up here, it's only going to affect the color adjustments that will only affect this layer and not the sky. Okay, so you'll notice the sky is very blue. It's got a bit of purple in there. So I'm going to um, move the slider uh, to the bluish purplish range. And you can see it hasn't, it, it hasn't affected the sky only the layer that's directly below it and we might just up the saturation a little bit like you can see what i mean if i do do it, do it a lot it's probably a bit too much so i might go around there and um, you can adjust the lightness and darkness i might make it a little bit darker by sliding the lightness slider to the left a bit a little bit so that it looks more like it's a night more like the night time okay let's now pop on a color balance adjustment layer um, find color balance and again let's tick the click uh, click the little clipping mask click clipping icon sorry so it only affects the bottom layer and we can adjust the color of this as well all right and just move this slider up into the blue a little bit and maybe push this one back a little bit and you can see the colors are starting to, to match from both images now um, you could go in you could change, muck around by changing the midtones highlights and shadows i'm not going to for this lesson but um, just play around with the sliders until you can kind of get a bit of color matching going on i do like a little bit of the green showing back down through here which kind of looks neat so that'll be up to you uh, to play around and fine tune that as you see as you need all right now we've let's use another one let's drop some cur the curves adjustment oh not the curves sorry uh, we'll do that last I'm just going to delete that let's drop on the levels okay we've used levels before whoops I keep going to curves levels all right and again let's clip it to the bottom and we might just move this slider down the bottom there and just adjust the midtones just to darken this up slightly all right we don't want the midtones too light because they get washed out and just watch that you're not losing any of the detail in your waves all right that will do okay and whoops i've lost my tab here pop it back on there and the last one that we will do is um, the curves. And we'll just add a little bit of contrast here by um, upping the lights just slightly, not too much with your lights, because again, you don't want to lose too much any, much detail in the waves. And we'll make a little S band to lighten and darken certain parts. Um, now, if you want to adjust any of these and go back, what you can do is you can just double click on the icon, not the mask, the icon. Like for example, this one, I forgot to clip it just to the bottom layer. So I've done that. And if you double click them, you can go back in and you can play with the, um, with the settings. Okay, thank you.